Hi, I'm Deary Mom for BHBA TV, and today we have with us Mr. Leroy Williams for BHBA TV interviews. Welcome, Leroy. It's so nice to have you with us today. Thank you, Dara. I'm very happy to be here. I'm looking forward to it. So, Leroy, tell us about your practice. What kind of law do you practice? Well, Dara, I am a partner uh, at Barillary Law Office. Um, we have two offices, one in Pasadena, one in Long Beach. We do probate and estate law. Um, we do elder financial abuse, uh, estate planning. Um, it's a growing practice. Um, we're getting larger every day. We're very, very passionate about our clients and uh, we work hard to make them happy. Leroy, what is the best advice you've ever received and from whom? Best advice, hmm. Well, that's pretty easy. Don't let fear be your co-pilot. Huh. Uh, it was actually advice from a non-lawyer. Uh, I was thinking about opening up my own practice and he basically said, you know, you never know how good you're gonna be until you take that first step. So that was some great advice that I received. What words do you think most people would use to describe you? I think most people would describe me as confident. Mm -hmm. Someone who's, you know, sure of themselves. I, I think that's a good word that people would describe me. I, th I could see that. Well, what word would you like people to use to describe you? Hmm, I think I would like people to describe me as able, you know, competent, mm. someone who can, can get the job done. That's, that's truly my goal, to be able. People to look at me and have the confidence that I want to get the job done for them. What drew you to become involved with the BHBA? Well, I was looking for ways to grow my practice and network. Um, currently, I'm a partner at Barillary Law Office. Mm -hmm. uh, my partner, Tony Barillary, we do probate in the States and um, it's, a, it's a fantastic practice, but I was looking for local bar associations. Mm -hmm. I was doing some research and um, I went to meetings at several bar associations. And when I came to the Beverly Hills Bar, um, I felt that we had a kindred spirit. Oh. And the kindred spirit was a spirit of giving. Um, and to this date, uh, I think that I've made a fantastic choice. Oh, great. What living person do you most admire and why? Uh, I would have to actually say that there is, it's a two. Uh, there's two people. Those are my parents. Um, they function as a unit. Mm -hmm. uh, I admire them because their partnership and love has just made me feel that I can do anything. And also, they have an unwavering belief in my abilities. So that's a great thing to have. Well, I can see that because I've met your mom and she is very, very proud of you. Thank you so much. I know she'll be happy to hear that. What is your idea of success? That's a great question, Dira. Um, I think success varies at different points in your life. Uh, if I had that's to so say true. success professionally, it would mean that my clients are happy and well represented. Uh, if I had to say success in my personal life is that I'm financially secure and that I'm mentally and physically healthy. And I also think that uh, success happens when you have great relationships, business and personal relationships. So uh, I think that's a, a level of success as well. So what are some of the benefits you've received from being involved with the BHBA? Uh, so many benefits. Socially, uh, I've met some friends and colleagues that I'm guaranteed to have for the rest of my days. Um, business, networking wise, I think I've finally learned how to translate my business networking into actual business for my practice. Um, there's a learning curve involved with that, um, but it all starts with a handshake. Um, and BHPA offers so many other opportunities for education. There's great CLE programs. I've, I've gone to so many programs that are outside of my practice area uh, just because it allows me to be a better lawyer. So there's so many benefits that, uh, that I've received and, and, and they still keep coming. That's great. What movie could you watch again and again and why? Well, I watch movies over and over again, but uh, being from Philadelphia, uh, I love all the Rocky movies. Mm -hmm. There's one movie um, that truly inspires me. It's called Invincible. It's another Philly. 
Um, it's about a Philly bartender who goes to an open tryout for the Eagles and he actually makes the team. Hmm. And it just shows that you, know, you never really know how far you can go until you try. And it inspires me every time I watch it. So you only go to see silly movies then? No, I, I watch several movies over and over again. But when I look for inspiration, I tend to look to Philadelphia. All right. So those are the repeat ones. Yes. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So what excites you about being an attorney? Oh, this is simple. Every day I get up and I have the ability to help people and potentially make their lives better. Um, I have an opportunity to make money doing what I love. And um, being an attorney gives me access. It, huh. it, it opens doors. It allows me to walk into a room and command respect. Uh, it's, it's very rewarding and it's exciting and it excites me every single day. So what do you most value in colleagues or employees or friends? What do I most value? Well, in colleagues, um, I, value, I value honesty um, and integrity, diligence. Um, in my employees, competence. Um, competence in your ability. That's, That's important. Uh, extremely important. Um, but for my friends, I just want my friends to be who they are. I mean, you can never really know who someone is unless they are who they are. They act who they are. And that's when they can truly be a friend. And I try to do that with my friends. That's why we love you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who's the most interesting person you've met in the last year? And what made them interesting? Most interesting person. I met a very successful probate attorney. This probate and tax law. And um, what made him interesting is the passion that he had for his practice. Mm. He's a very successful man, and he offers these bi-monthly seminars for free. He's constantly challenging himself, and he's not doing it for money. Mm. He's doing it to grow the practice. And I find that extremely interesting, to have that level of passion and and desire to be better and to make the world a better place. And I found that to be extremely interesting. That is interesting. Do you have a passion project, a cause, or a charity? Well, I love to cook. And uh, the BHB has, has um, gracefully allowed me to chair their homeless outreach project, Sam O'Shell. I think you might have to explain what Sam O'Shell means. Sam O'Shell is an acronym for the Santa Monica Homeless Shelter. Every month, um, we go there the second Saturday of the month and we're able to feed 50 to 60 people. It's an opportunity to give um, and provide nutrition and love. Um, and it's a, it's, a, it's a wonderful outreach experience and the BHBA has allowed me to chair their, their committee for the last seven years. Wow, seven years. Sam Michelle is great. I really appreciated being able to be in front of those people and see their gratefulness. It's, it's a wonderful experience. It is, it is. And I encourage anyone who's interested to come out, second Saturday of the month. That's it. Do you do any blogging or anything like that? Well, I'm starting a blog um, based upon the practice and um, it's going to be very interesting. I'm still working on the name of it, but I don't read many blogs. I do listen to podcasts though. Um, most of the podcasts I listen to are about motivation and trying to be a better uh, professional and how to grow your business. So that's kind of what I listen to when I'm in the car, uh, which in California is frequent. A lot. <laughs> so do you have any hobbies? Well, Dira, as you probably know, I'm a diehard golfer. And another opportunity that the BHBA has given me is to chair their annual charity golf tournament which is in October. It's an absolutely fun event. It's a great opportunity to get outside, um, network. If you enjoy any of those things, um, it's an all day event. It's one of the greatest fundraisers that we have throughout the year. Um, and you know, you get a chance to play some golf, but you don't have to be a golfer to come out there. But didn't you win that? Uh, yes, I've been fortunate <laughs> enough to be on a few winning teams. Um, but the competition is getting stiff for every year. So we'll see what happens this year. Well, we'll see if someone can beat you then. We'll see. Who is your favorite musician? My favorite musician of all time, <laughs> it has to be Bob, Bob Marley. Oh, yeah. 
Three Little Birds. Three Little Birds. Right. Um, his music is based upon love and respect, and you know, it's it's something that's always puts me in a good mood. So tell us something about yourself that would surprise and delight. Hmm. Well, um, you may not be able to tell from my current haircut, but um, I was a dreadlock for many years, <laughs> college and law school. I would not expect that. That does surprise and delight me. Yeah. I actually tried to do dreadlocks once. I think you look good in dreads. You do? Yeah. It was a very failed attempt. <laughs> well, I, I like the way your hair is now. Thank you very much. If you were sitting in my seat, what question would you ask? I would probably ask, are you satisfied with where you are in life? Um, I ask that question to myself all the time. And the answer is almost always no. Uh, I think that if you're satisfied, you're not striving. And I wake up every day with the hopes that I can be better than I was the day before. So that's, that's the question I would ask me. It's a good question. We all should want to be better than we were the day before. Absolutely.